lemonade. Come and get your lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade for sale. Lemonade, lemonade. Come and get your lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade for sale. I made a big sign for sale. Lemonade. Buy a fresh cup. It's all homemade. Water, lemons, a little sugar too. Mix them all together to share with you. Oh, lemonade, lemonade. Come and get your. Hi, I'm Emily. And this is Kitchenasium. Today we are making lemonade cake. I got this recipe from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio. I've changed a few things because I've made it gluten-free and I'm using almond milk. So I kind of changed the flour a little bit. But we're still making the same thing. You could just use flour and buttermilk and it'll be the same recipe. So The things you're going to need to make lemonade cake is you're going to need three cups and of flour. You're going to need two cups of sugar, a cup of butter, four eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of almond milk or buttermilk, um, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt mixed in. And we're going to need two lemons for zesting. And two, we squeezed two lemons and took the juice out of that. And it was just under a third of a cup, but whatever you get will be good. And we're using two baking pans and you're going to preheat your oven to 350. Alright, so first we're going to take our flour and our salt and baking powder and we're just going to mix this up a little bit. We're using an all-purpose rice flour blend that we just got um, at the grocery store that was already made. Or you could make it yourself, I guess. Or just use flour. So now we have that mixed up. We're going to take our cup of butter, so we have our butter in, and then we're going to add in our sugar, which is two cups of sugar. And now I'm going to go cream it. So until it is light and fluffy. Alrighty, we've got our cup of butter and two cups of sugar. We are using organic sugar, so it's a little darker in color. And we've got that perfectly creamed up like this. We are now going to add in our four eggs. Okay, now I'm going to mix up my I have four eggs. mixed up our butter, sugar, and eggs. I'm going to alternate the flour and the almond milk, and I'll be back when I've got that all whipped up. I just finished my alternating flour and almond milk, and I've just put it into this bowl. If I wanted to, I could just bake the cake right in here because it's a temptation and even bowls like this can go right in the oven. I'm going to add in my teaspoon of vanilla and now I'm going to add in my lemon which was two squeezed lemons. Now I'm adding in my zest which I zested. Two lemons. You just want a nice amount of zest. It makes it very pretty. Zest adds a nice burst and pop of the citrus, citrus and flavor. That is my cake mix, and I am very happy with it. And since they're temptations, I don't even have to butter, and you will be the proof to see how easily it'll just pop out. So nothing on here, not at all. No butter, no baking spray, nothing, nothing. And I used this big scoop from Buddy Velastro, so I got even amounts in each cake. Okay. So now each one is perfectly spread out and it's ready for the oven. And remember, at a 350 degree oven, and we'll see you back when we make the frosting. Alrighty, now it's time for me to take my cake out of its pants. They've cooled for 10 minutes and now I'm gonna take them out. I had enough batter left over to make this little one. If you can see, just pops right out. Didn't use anything on that one either. temptations. As you can see, it just pops right up. No butter, no spray, no nothing. Alrighty, now we are going to make the lemon curd for the inside of our layered cake. And this is going to be just a nice lemon pop, big burst of lemon. So, uh, I got this lemon curd recipe from Laura in the kitchen. 
so and we're just cutting this recipe in half because we don't need as much just to layer one cake so first we're going to start off with two and a half eggs now we are going to add in our butter this is some nice softened butter we're going to be adding a half a cup of sugar two lemon zest and all that zest and we are using organic lemons because the zest will just be much sweeter and it's really good. And we are adding two lemons worth of juice right into this curve. Ooh, do you hear that thunder? It's storming. And a pinch of salt. And we are using the um, pinch from Temptation. It's so cute. And I'm just going to mix this together before we put it on the stove. Now I'm going to head to the stove and cook this on low until when you take the back of your spoon, it'll just stick and you can rub your finger through it, run your finger through it, and it'll just, it won't come together, it'll stay apart. And if it breaks, just keep whisking because it'll just come together. So I'm going to head to the stove with this. See you when we have a curd. All right, and now, it is time to make our lemon meringue frosting. I already have my two egg whites and my five tablespoons of corn syrup in here. We are gonna take half a cup of sugar granulated. Dump it in. This is easy, just dump it all in. Um, one fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and salt. So cream of tartar one fourth, salt one fourth. Then we have two teaspoons of water. This looks so cool in here. <laughs> and a teaspoon of lemon extract. Alrighty, now we are going to head back to our stove and put it on as a double boiler. And we're gonna take a hand mixer and beat it up. If you don't have a hand mixer, I guess you can just whisk it, but you'll probably have to whisk really fast. If you're really good at whipping up heavy whipping cream, this will be easy for you. If not, you should probably go buy a hand mixer. So I'm just going to get that whipping. See you when we have our marine frosting. Ooh, oh. And our meringue frosting is done and it looks perfect. Very stiff. It is so delicious with all the lemon flavor. It is super good. So easy to make, we just whip it up with our hand mixer. And now we are gonna go frost our cake and put the lemon curd on. We'll see you back at the table. All right. <laughs> our meringue frosting has finished and it's beautifully whipped up. And I have just took a little bit of it and put it around the sides of where we're gonna put our lemon curd, just so it doesn't spill. I'm gonna take some of my lemon curd it turned out so beautiful and a nice gorgeous lemon yellow color and I am now going to start by spreading it on. Lemon curd which is so delicious. I had a little bit. So good. Alrighty, we have a perfect amount of lemon curd. Beautiful here. Perfect, and now we're going to put our meringue frosting all around the cake. Alrighty, our meringue is completely frosted. And I have taken some lemons and cut them small and made strips down the middle. So we're going to make cute little twists. And I have five of those. And I have taken some of our extra meringue frosting and tinted it yellow to make dots to, for our lemon twist to stand on. As you can see, I made this one for my Nana. So she's gonna, so she's gonna get that one. And we put a little dollop on it. So now I'm gonna do five dollops on this one. And twist. And we had put on our beautiful decoration. Just so you can see. I think they're actually all perfect. And if you want to know what tip I'm using, I'm using 195. So it would be like 195 or 195. Alrighty, and I think this is so perfect and sophisticated for your lemon twists on here. 
So I think I'm going to take the parchment paper off now. And ta-da! And now this just makes it perfect. So you don't see any of the, probably the meringue mistakes while you're trying to get into every corner. And this just looks so perfect. I'm going to twirl it here. And I am so happy. I made this cake for my cousin Tegan next door. I'm going to surprise them with a nice lemon cake. And it's so beautiful, perfect, and I just love it. And I hope you make this recipe too. Awesome. And I'm also going to go to my Nana's and deliver her a mini one that I put one lemon twist on, the meringue, the lemon curd. So I think she's going to be excited about that. Well, I hope you've had fun with me, Emily, on Kitchenasium today. And I hope you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and subscribe and like down below. Well, I'll see you next time on Kitchenasium. Bye! Mmm, oh my god. Wow. Oh, hurry with that coffee. Emily, you made this topping? Mm hmm I made it all. How did you make lemons. the topping? Uh, mm. egg whites. Very good. Mm. Isn't it good? I need more. Oh, the lemon <laughs> curd. Mm. That's the perfect amount of oh, sour. We gotta, make, we gotta make Dad taste this. That's the perfect amount of sour to the sweet. You made your own lemon curd? Yes. Oh my god. Emily, you gotta make this for me. We still have some left over. <laughs> you have to make this for Kitty. Kitty's gonna want this. Mmm. <laughs> stop, Marie. Marie, stop eating. <laughs> I like the cream that did this. Yeah. Let's save some for Papa. Very oh. good, Joe. Mm. Mm. All right, let Papa taste it. A lemon cake. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Very good. What about that icing? That is fantastic. Years ago, I used to make that marshmallow. It's, it's a egg white. It's a meringue. Yeah, egg white, sugar, lemon, uh, mm. extract. Corn syrup. Where's the mar? Oh, the oh. curds in the middle. That's the part. Right. So it took you all day to make that. Yep. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Oh, go away. Mmm, mm, that curd. Mmm. You gotta make me the curd, just the curd. I still have leftovers. All right, but just the curd, and we can fill a pastry with them. And you can almost like a lemon meringue pie. And then you put that on and you can make a pie out of it. Just, oh my God, I can't. Let's not even talk about it. <laughs> so good. You should make Antonise taste that. That is very good. I mean, somebody that likes lemon, that's delicious. Yeah, and I like the curd because it's. Yes. That's that sour to the sweet. That's the best part. You got more curd? Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All that. Scrape it <laughs> with a little marshmallow. Mm, go away. Okay, now that you're in my. <laughs> okay, Liz. Signing off. Bye. Your head is chopped off completely. <laughs> <laughs>